Hello, this is Dalen75 Games. Welcome back to another Let's Role Play of Dragon Age Origins. I am Human Noble Aiden Kuzlin, a warrior. Currently, Landsmeet is in its final stages. We just, uh... Logan was just defeated by Alistair in single combat, and then he took his head off, I believe. But now the decision up to what takes place after this is now mine. So they look to me. I think you're hardly the appropriate person to mediate this, Nora. Warden, what will you help us? I need to speak to Anora first. Certainly. Makes you the better choice than Alistair. Surely that's not a serious question. I have been the ruler of this nation in all but name for the last five years. I can lead for Alden. Alistair can't. If you give him the crown, then you've only brought us a brief pause in the Civil War. It will resume again at the first opportunity, and it won't end until a new dynasty holds power. Are you prepared for this? Are you sure it's what you want? I have never had the smallest doubt. I don't really think... I think she would make a great, powerful queen. I don't really think that... It's just Eamon wants Alistair to be on the throne. I think half of it is because he knows he's a good person. The other half is because he's the uh, last of the Theron line. Hmm. Uh, but it's not not enough, though. Especially the position that I'm in. Who do you think I should choose? Warden, there's no doubt on this subject. Alistair would be a disastrous king. I can lead for Eldon. I have proven this. I'd like to speak with Alistair as well. Strange. I feel like I'm back at the Abbey, trying not to get chosen last for the sparring teams. What makes you a better choice than Honora? This wasn't exactly my first choice when we got to Dederim, but... I know what we're up against. I know what's at stake. Honora's got experience handling nobles and foreign dignitaries, but I do know a few things about fighting Darkspawn. And you're willing to give up your freedom? If that's the price of ending the Blight, it's my duty as a Grey Warden. I don't really want to turn against Alistair, though. That's bothering me. Do you think you're ready to be king? Are there people who are ready for that sort of thing? But I guess if it comes down to it, I'll do my best. Mm. Oh, I think my stomach just twisted up in a knot or something. Actually, Alistair might. He is a good military commander. And he's right. Honora knows more about politics, but he knows more about fighting, especially at Darkspawn. And he's an excellent fighter. He just proved it by killing Loghain. Should I choose Honora? She seems to want it, anyway. And I know I don't. So... Yes? Alistair. Maybe? I don't know. I think I already asked him this. Do you think you're ready to be king? Are there people who are ready yeah. for that sort of thing? But I guess if it comes down to it, I'll do my best. Uh, damn. Oh, I think my stomach just twisted up in a knot or something. Alistair, you need to be more decisive. I'm ready to choose. As the arbiter of this dispute, what is your decision? Who will lead Ferelda? Now I have the choice. There's four choices here. Alistair, Queen Anora, Alistair and Anora marrying, or me and becoming king at Anora's side as her husband. I don't know. I don't know what to choose, but I know that I like Liliana, and if I, be I love her, actually, if I leave Anora's side, or if I become... She won't even name me king, though. That's a big problem. If I name her as queen and I become her husband, I won't be king. I'll be her consort, and that's not what I want. But if Alistair becomes king, I'm sure that would put me in position to become the warden commander. I believe Alistair and Anora should marry and rule jointly. I think that's the best choice. 
even though I would, I think I'm better suited to become king. But as warden commander, I can be the battlefield commander against the Blight. No, I think Alistair and Anor should be together. What? This is a joke, right? Right? Why aren't you laughing? <laughs> it will never happen. Not even if the Maker himself appeared in this room and commanded it. What she said. <sighs> that Maybe I should have worked towards that from the beginning. <sighs> Alistair will take the throne himself, then. This is where I wake up, usually. Or everyone points and laughs because I have no clothes on. Honora! The Landsmeet has decided against you. You must now swear fealty to our king, and relinquish all claim to the throne for yourself and your heirs. If you think I will swear that oath, Eamon, you know nothing of me. Enora, be reasonable. Reason clearly had nothing to do with your choice, Warden. We cannot leave Ferelden in a state of civil war. We must have unity. If she will not swear fealty to you, Alistair, and renounce her claim to the throne, she is a threat to us all. What do you want me to do exactly? Kill her? I can't do that. I guess... Put her in the tower for now. Lock her up. Maybe we can find somewhere to send her. Later. Thank you, Alistair. You show me mercy that I would not have shown you. Very well, then. Guards, take her away. I think they should be married in time, though. Your Highness, would you address the landsmeet? Oh, uh, that would be me, right? Um... <clears throat> I never knew him, but from all I've heard of my father, what defined him was his commitment to protecting this land. <laughs> Get to the Blight already. I was getting there. Anyway, the Blight, yes. I may be Merrick's son, but I am also a Grey Warden. I took an oath. I swore I would stand and fight the Darkspawn, no matter the cost to myself. I can't break that oath just to wear the crown. I have to go with my fellow Warden to face the Blight. When the Blight is over, I'll come back and take up my duties, whatever they are. As king. Until then, I think Al Eamon will have to be my regent. Then I can do Merrick's memory no less honor than you do. I accept. And may the Maker bless your efforts against the Darkspawn. My fellow Grey Warden will, I hope, take Loghain's place as the leader of my armies. Shall we finish this thing together? I can do no less, my king. Everyone, get ready to march. It's going to take all of Ferelden's strength to survive this blight. But we will face it, and we'll defeat it! We'd better get going. Ferelden is depending on us. It was a very tough choice for Aiden to make there. He could never have been king. Especially with Anora. And he couldn't have taken, become a king without Anora. Just something that could never have happened then. I'd rather follow Alistair in that case. He is the only heir. You made me king. <laughs> After all this is over with, they're actually going to put me on the throne. I'm still... I'm going to be the king. Congratulations? 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 Why would you do this to me? <laughs> How could you? I've done nothing but regret my blood since the day I was born. I don't want this. I never wanted this. I hate the very idea of it. I thought we were friends. You knew how I felt about this, yet you went ahead and did it anyway. Why? Would you prefer I gave Anora the throne instead? Yes. Well, no. She would have executed me, so that would have been bad. I've just never thought of myself as a leader. 
I'm going to make a terrible king, you have to know that. How can I make decisions that are going to affect the lives of everyone in the kingdom? I guess I don't really have a choice in this now, do I? I'll do my best, of course, and I expect that you'll be there to help me, right? <laughs> If you want me there, of course I will. Good. Then it's settled. Al Eamon has left for Redcliffe. He says the army has gathered there and is almost ready to march. As soon as we're ready, we should head to Redcliffe ourselves. The blight awaits, right? Whatever happens, I'm still a turn. And Alistair really dis disapproved of my choice. But we're still friends. All right. Uh, sorry, I didn't actually catch what he said. The final battle. You have gathered your allies. Now it's time to head to Redcliffe, or you, will, your army assembles. It seems the dark spawn are heading that way and are poised to attack there. Well, obviously, the queen is left. But let's. Oh, I've actually gained another season or. Did I? What happened here? Okay, I've gained this taunt. As far as I know, there's nothing else to do inside of here, so let's leave. Uh, me, of course. Indeed. Liliana. Alistair. Yes. Lynn. Yes. Yeah, after all that dealing with low game, we still have the Darkspawn Horde to deal with. The Blight. The Grey Wardens were once exiled from Ferelden for conspiring to overthrow the king. They were permitted to return 20 years ago by King Merrick, Caelan's father. That's why there is hardly any Grey Wardens in Ferelden. Okay. Did you actually gain a level? No, you did not. Uh, so let's just... I don't think that there's anything else for us to do. Uh, companions, Denerim, Drake skill armor. I don't even know where to get that. Mage's Collective, Blackstone of Regulars, Notices of Death. We need to go to a lake. Uh, yeah. Anyways, let's head to camp. I think there's a lot for me to say to Liliana. After all that, I think it's time to have a bit of a rest out, out there. A lot of uh, weighty things were decided this day. It needs to be taking quite a while to load just into the camp. Hello, Chester. Pet Chester. He rolls around happily on his back. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, hello, Liliana. Do you remember our discussion? Yes, of course. I just wanted to tell you that I thought about what you told me, and you were right. I didn't want to admit it, even to myself, but those years in Lothering, I yearned for the freedom and the recklessness that I knew in Orlay. The Maker made the world beautiful, but he also made it dangerous. To really experience it, I have to embrace this, not not hide away in some nunnery. I'm glad you realized that. Sometimes, it takes another to show us the truths we hide from ourselves. It was my pleasure. I'm glad I left Lothering in your company. You have proven a true friend and I thank the Maker for you. I heard about you and the Queen. Do you... do you love her? <laughs> no, I love you. Not nearly enough, it seems. I think this is a bit an error, because obviously she's... she's in prison. Um, 
doesn't have to change anything between us. It changes everything. I respect her too much as a queen and as a woman to let what we have destroy us all. If you are to marry her, marry her and be wholly hers. I know that look. You have something on your mind, don't you? We need to talk. Of course. Do you f are you feeling better about what happened with Marjolaine? Yes, a little better. Time heals all wounds, so they say. Scars remain, but they are just colors in the painting that is my life, no? Just wanted to make sure you're all right. I wish things had happened differently, but knowing her and knowing me, I don't think it could have. We had good times though, and I look back on those fondly. Whatever happened after will never change the truth of the past. She was special to you, wasn't she? Yes, once, a long time ago. She was a worldly woman and there was so much she knew and was willing to share with me. I would have done anything for her once. Have you felt this way about another person? No, not yet. I have not met someone that affected me the way she did. She used to be different. Happier, I think. She loved music and had a weakness for sugary cakes. Maybe she was always lying about who she was. Or maybe she changed over the years. Everyone changes, unfortunately. <laughs> That's what they say. And the rest of us just have to move on. And I... I think I have. You are how she used to be years ago. A joy to be around, a constant companion, and a listening ear in times of need. I can only hope to one day be as special as she was to you. My dearest one, I think that day has already come and gone. I have never regretted leaving Orle. I do not regret any of the pain, the anger, the loneliness. Because he brought me to you, and I love you. It's so wonderful to say that to someone again. <laughs> but people are starting to look at me strangely. We will speak of this again, I promise. So she heard about the Queen, so what, what happened there was a bit of a disjointed connection of events there, but... Very choppy on my end. Um, yeah, she hasn't changed her feelings for me. I guess I deserve that. All right. Um, so we're in camp. <laughs> I suppose I should talk to people while I, I can. Sten, hello. I have been mistaken. What do you mean? You are a soldier worthy to stand among the Beresad. I did not think so when we first met. What changed your mind? You did, of course. The day will come when the Arishok sends us here. On that day, I will not look to find you on the battlefield. Oh, uh, you think the Canari will invade Ferelden? In time. There is no point in dwelling on it. We should move on. I want to discuss something you mentioned. Speak, then. It's enough for now. Then I suggest we move on. Let's go. As you wish. Yes, very choppy. I'm not sure what's going on with it. Um, speak to Alistair. I'm wondering something. I'd like to know your thoughts about some of our traveling companions. Do you mind if I ask? <laughs> Go ahead, I don't mind. How about Ogren? You must have an opinion on the smell, at the very least. Well, he is a bit much, isn't he? Well, let's just say that I'm not so surprised he's not married any longer. <laughs> How he lifts his sword is a bit of a mystery. Though I suppose the point is that he does lift it. And so long as we can point him in the right direction, he charges too. He has gusto, I'll give him that. Zevran, the elf. You can't trust him, can you? Do you believe his so-called vow? 
Hmm, yes I actually do. Really? Why? That's a lot of trust to put in someone who tried to kill you. Well, I'm willing to give him a chance. Hmm. Well, if you are, then maybe I should too. But that doesn't mean I won't keep an eye on him. He's just too shifty. What about Sten? The way he looks at me with those eyes. Creepy. And he's so quiet for someone so big. Hmm. I respect him. The more I talk to him, the more reasonable he does seem. His philosophy is so strange. But it doesn't sound at all as vile as the Chantry describes it. And yet, he killed all those people. He doesn't even deny it. Doesn't that bother you? He seems to regret what he did. Hmm. I'm not so sure that his regret means the same as it would for us. The Kunari sense of honor is... It's a bit hard to grasp. For me, anyway. What about Liliana? Is she crazy? <laughs> or do you really believe in her vision? I believe that she believes in her vision. That's one way to put it. I noticed that you and her have become... close. Am I right? The rest of us have talked about it. <laughs> You talk about us? You think we have better things to do than gossip about you? You give us far too much credit. <laughs> Is it true or not? <laughs> yes, we have a connection. I thought so. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. I don't know what to make of her. If you look at her when she doesn't see you, she just looks so... so sad. I almost feel guilty taking her away from her life. I don't. This is good for her. Good for you, maybe. Her? I'm not so sure about. Morrigan. Do you trust her? Think about it. Maybe Flemeth sent her with us for some other reason than she said. Hmm. You're probably right. And you're just going to let her follow us around? A Malefica and make her knows what else? <laughs> Why not? I let you follow us around. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't have to like her, she's useful. That's the most sensible thing I've heard out of you yet. Just remember that she's dangerous too, and evil, and mean. <laughs> Enough. I think my curiosity is sated. Let's get back to it, shall we? Got a bit of approval back out of him for that. Alright, gonna end the video here. I'm gonna. Talk to the rest of the people in the next one. Thanks for watching and more to come.